So Xbox Game Pass, I mean, we know the stories that have happened throughout this generation so far in terms of developers looking at the service and the deals that they have received from Microsoft, from Xbox to get their games onto the service and how it's paid off and how they've been happy with the results of their games. Now, Wolong Fallen Dynasty was a major release in gaming so far in 2023, but also one of the biggest releases so far to drop into xbox game pass and it's also a japanese game and now we know from koei tecmo that they're interested in bringing more games to xbox game pass and to playstation plus extra but basically they're interested in bringing more games to subscription services because the game has done well it has performed well and they can see the value in being able to make a deal to get a game onto a subscription service specifically xbox game pass and then the results they receive from people playing their games the amount of people actually checking it out and the amount of money they are making overall when they are creating games like wolong this is a report here from twisted voxel and it says here publisher koei tecmo has expressed interest in bringing more of its games to xbox game pass and playstation plus extra in a survey regarding its recent release wolong fallen dynasty koei tecmo has asked respondents which of its other titles they would wish to see on premium game subscription services such as xbox game pass and playstation plus extra and right there they know that fans enjoy these games landing onto these services. I mean, why wouldn't you when you're paying a fraction of the price you subscribe to a service that gives you access to a ton of games? The value is incredible, I mean, particularly on Xbox Game Pass. And then you get to actually play these Koei Tecmo games, brand new day one releases. And it'll be very interesting to see what the results of this survey is. We don't know that yet, of course, but I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be choosing their favorite games to land on their specific uh, subscription service, whether it's PlayStation or whether it's Xbox. And I can see Koei Tecmo looking easily into both because I mean, yes, they are Japanese games. They would do well on PlayStation Plus Extra as well. But if it wasn't for, I, I think at least, if it wasn't for the success of Wolong Fallen Dynasty on Xbox Game Pass, they probably wouldn't be looking further into putting more of their games into the service. One of the main things as well with putting games into Xbox Game Pass is it's that word of mouth marketing. I mean, Wolong Fallen Dynasty, we had that initial marketing from it. I believe it was at the Xbox Showcase earlier or later last year, a summer showcase. I forget which one it was, but that's where they announced that the game was coming on to Game Pass in 2023. A lot of people were excited about that, especially coming off of the hype of Elden Ring. So the Soul style of games have a lot of popularity now. A lot of people that had never played a Souls game before jumped into the first time in Elden Ring and then were instantly fans of that style of game. So a lot of people were looking forward to what's the next game in that genre that they were going to be able to play. Well, Long Dynasty, Fallen Dynasty pops up and announces coming to Game Pass and a lot of people got excited about that. But in general, besides the announcement of a coming to Game Pass, there wasn't that much marketing for the game. At least I didn't really see or think that there was like a huge marketing campaign going all alongside the release of this game. Where I did see a ton of marketing, which I think is one of the biggest benefits that people overlook when it comes to putting a game into a subscription service with already millions and millions of subscribers is people posting gameplay clips. Like as soon as this game released onto Xbox Game Pass, I just saw endless gameplay clips of tons of people jumping in, playing it and posting it instantly because they got to jump in to a service that they were already subscribed to at midnight, as soon as the game unlocked, depending on where they live, as soon as it unlocked, they get got to jump in and everyone started sharing gameplay, sharing bosses, showing off just like how much fun they were having with this game, which definitely pushes forward more people into going and checking it out. And depending on the deal that they got, maybe it was a payment per download of this game on top of maybe an initial uh, fee or initial payment that they receive for getting the game into the service, it's going to push these developers and these publishers to looking at these big multi-game subscription services and thinking, is this the better option for the releases of our games? Or should we just be releasing it at full price and hoping that people go out and buy it? And I think right now and going forward, for a lot of these, I would say, 
it's triple a games but just not don't have as much hype as some of the massive games that are do come out that have been coming out like for example resident evil 4 remake that game is just massively hyped up that didn't need to go into a subscription service they already sold 3 million copies but would have would Wo long fallen dynasty be doing as well as it is right now if it wasn't in the xbox game pass day one release that is a question i'm sure they look at and i think the answer to that question especially because they're asking in this survey what other games people want from koi tecmo into the service i think the answer to that question is it was definitely very beneficial for them launching this game to xbox game pass and going forward they'll probably be looking to bring you more of their games over to the service so i think this is awesome to see and again this is just one of the many examples we've seen throughout this generation and it, it always goes back to that debate that people are always having it's like i guess it's not really the console war debate anymore it's the subscription uh, wars debate where you have one side of people saying that subscription services is killing gaming it's cannibalizing sales it's making developers not want to put as much effort into their games and put as much quality into their games because they aren't going to be making as much money then you have other people out there who are showing and talking about like actually using the developers who have come out and said that the subscription services helped these companies make money and has helped them with future iterations of their games and they would strongly consider putting a lot of their future games into xbox game pass or even playstation plus but i'm going to leave that there guys let me know what you think about this and what koei tecmo games would you like to see going forward coming in to xbox game pass if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up if you're new here hit that subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video